for this guy to cross the street and I'll go across. Witnessing, witnessing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to the Jehovah Witnesses. Take one. We're live here at the penitentiary in the place of the Jehovah Witnesses where they postpone the truth. Yes. Where nothing can be found in the truth.
actual Messiah of the Jews came to this earth and died upon Calvary's cross that you may be saved. Close your windows. I know you can hear my loud voice. God has given me a voice to preach to you with windows that are closed that you are in an unbiblical foundation called the Jehovah Witnesses because you have not believed on the very name of Jesus Christ as your God and as your Savior. Magazine sales will not get you into glory. I heard the number of them that were sealed. Sealed 144,000. That is the foundation of your group, 144,000, and you have gone over that number. You have reached over the extent of that number. So you
the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he died for your sins, how he was buried according to the scriptures, and he rose again the third day for the scriptures, is the biblical truth. That biblical truth is based upon the testimony that Jesus is God, and God is Jesus, Acts 20, 28, and you need to be saved. The Bible says you need to be born again. John chapter 3, verse 3. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in should not perish but shall have everlasting life. I don't see anything in there about magazines. I don't see anything in there about works. I don't see anything in there about any Jewish foundation. I don't see anything of kingdoms or anything like that. I, look, I don't look for a kingdom. I look for the blessed hope. And that blessed hope is the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on out, read the gospel, hear the gospel of a loud mouth preaching that you may know the truth. I'll tell you how harsh your religion is. I'll tell you how ununified your religion is. If I start walking to that gate right now, you'll threaten me with the police. Yet by allow you come to my door, I'll open a Bible at my door to show you what the Bible proclaims. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of salvation. And you can't even roll down your windows to hear what God has to say to you. You can't even roll down your windows to see what Jesus Christ is speaking to you. You're a bunch of hypocrites. Stay away from my door. Stay away from my family. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And said, Understand thou what thou readest. And he said, How can I, except some man, here I am, should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shears. So opened he not. And his humiliation, his judgment taken from, taken away. And who shall declare his generation from his life is taken from the earth? And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh this prophet this, of himself or some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, there came to a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That's an African from Africa proclaiming Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who is God for salvation. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Nothing about being good, nothing about what you can do, no matter how many magazines you will have. I will trade a Holy King James Bible for all your junky magazines. And in here holds the truth and holds the life, for Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you can earn it, why did he go to Calvary's tree? If you can do it, why did he go forth and die? If you're good enough, why is he seated at the right hand of Father after the gospel that he died and was buried and arose again for your sins? Hey, you guys go to people.
people's doors, I'm coming to your door. I'm coming to your door not with a lie, but with a gospel and a Bible. Knock, knock, here is Jesus Christ, who is God, and God is Jesus. Let's read again. New group of people. You never get tired of the scriptures. One person come out, the Jewish persuasion. It says, of the tribe of Judah. How many of you are Judah? 112,000. Of the tribe of Reuben, shield 12,000. And you go on to the 12 tribes. Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Salvation to God the Father salvation to the Lord Jesus Christ who is God. Titus. Let's go to the book of Titus, shall we? Oh, I know you ain't got no Bible, so I'll read it to you. You got magazines. What's your center page of those magazines, by the way, I wonder? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Titus. It's hard to turn these pages here in the wind, but I'll get there. Titus 2.13 Looking for the blessed hope of selling magazines. Uh-uh. Looking for the blessed hope of I can be a good person. There is none good, no, not one. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious spirit of our great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, God and Jesus are the same in the Bible. Who gave himself for us. If Christ gave himself, then what are you doing? You're living a lie. Who gave himself that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto, unto himself a particular people. I'm more particular than you are. You can't hide rolling up your window. you got to hear this big mouth. I'll tell you what I am right now, people. I'm a Jehovah Witness. By the Bible and Jesus Christ, who is God and God is Jesus of phonies according to the scriptures. The truth lies in a Jehovah's Witness. Mark 16, go ye all the world and preach the gospel. That is a witness of God, not of Jehovah, but of Jesus Christ, who washed away my sins, who has saved me by his work, not my work, but of his work, finished upon the tree of Calvary. He died and was buried and arose again. That is the gospel of salvation. That is the only way to be saved. John 20, 
28. John 20, 28. Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus answered him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me and believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Jesus never rebuked Thomas for saying, My Lord, my God. John 10, John 10, you go home, check out these scriptures after you buy a Bible. Video will be on YouTube. John 10, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6 words in John 10, 30. Write this above your gate, 10, 30, I and my Father are one. Jesus proclaimed, Jesus is God. Thomas proclaimed, Jesus is God. Acts 20, 28, written by Luke, proclaims, Jesus is God. The Bible proclaims that not of works, least any man boast, salvation is of grace, and grace alone by the finished work that was met by Jesus and not by us. Salvation, no, no, no other, for there is no other name given amongst men whereby ye must be saved. Hey, you guys are getting some Bible preaching on Sunday afternoon. Well, what say is it? The word is nigh to thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. You're ashamed when you roll up those windows and try to block the word out. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Listen, God has sent me here with the Bible, with the gospel, to plead with you, to reach out to you, and the few seconds that I have with you, to tell you about Jesus Christ, who has died for your sins, that He is the only atonement that God will receive to get in the glory. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. These guys are laughing over here because 